Hi everyone, New England Gardening here. This is a vaporizer for oxalic acid. And one of the problems you have with honeybees, uh, if you're new to keeping bees, you find it real quick that there are a lot of uh, pests that you have to watch out for or keep in control. And one is mites, the var varroa mite. And this is one of the methods for keeping uh, or killing the varroa mite that are on honeybees. And I guess there's, I don't know if it's the same one, they can have mites uh, in the trachea. But these mites can also uh, be in the brood chamber itself uh, attached uh, to the larva uh, all the way up to it hatching. So uh, you have to do a couple of treatments uh, like seven days apart because then when you have newly hatched bees you'll have the mites hatching with them also. So there are different methods. There's one I'm looking into also is you have a, um, a fogger that vaporizes, uh, heats up some mineral oil and then you can add also I guess uh, some essence of oils uh, that also help controlling the mite population but I think this is supposed to be the most effective. And what you do is you put a little of this oxalic acid. I'm going to time how long it takes. Uh, basically, it's it's wood bleach. Um, I don't think this is adulterated with anything else. I know that uh, a lot of bee supply places are are also selling um, approved oxalic acid for the uh, treatment, the varillo mite treatment. Um, but I'm sure that this is just the same because I mentioned the wood bleach and that's what it is. It just says oxalic acid. So you put, um, it comes with a measuring cup, this particular one. This is oxalic acid, one gram, and you put that in this little container here that's been milled out and there's a little heating element and heats it up and vaporizes it. You stick this into the hive entrance, block off the hive en entrance with a cloth and um, I don't know if I'll do it, maybe it might be a good idea to do it today. I wanted to time this and just take a look at this product here. This is by, who is this by? Oxivap, oxalic acid vaporizer. So you just hook it up to a 12 volt battery. Um, I took my battery out of my car and now it looks like I might get some rain. Um, but that might be a good thing because maybe then the most of the bees will be inside the hive. So you just yeah you just put this in the entrance and but I wanted to test it out first to get a sense a uh, feel of how it works and what the timing is. Uh, you put this in like um, halfway into the hive so it's sort of centered and uh, it produces this vapor of oxalic acid that kills the mites uh, with the other mineral oil vaporizer that coats the bees with fine mineral oil and then you smother the mite so that's another option then there are all these chemical patties you can put in but I think you have to take out like if you have honey supers um, you don't want to use these chemicals when you have the honey in there but I don't know looks like I might be getting some rain Okay, everyone, I'm going to try to squeeze in a little test run here. I was looking at the weather radar, and there's a little bit of a gap uh, until the next rainfall in between the cloud mass. So let's see if I can get this in here, get an idea how this works. It's not an on-off switch, it's just the two clips that you add to the battery. It's suggested that you wear a mask and eye protection. I'm doing this, but I'm just going to stand away from this. So here's the negative. And I've got a stopwatch here. I want to time this. 
we'll stop watching how old this is bought this from service merchandise never really used it so let's see how long it takes to vaporize it comes with a piece of cardboard here which I imagine is just for shipping purposes because there's a little bit of a gap there so I'll remove that and let's hook up the positive lead I hope this doesn't destroy my battery. I like this one because it looks like a lot of the parts, well the main part is easily replaceable. I mean basically it's a milled out uh, piece of metal stock with a little pocket in it. and. I wish they had a part number as a little heating heating element that fits in on the side there, screws in, so it's past 30 seconds. Oh, it's starting to smoke. There it's smoking. You can see that. Make sure it's not drifting my way. So that was about the 50 second mark. Looks like it turns to a liquid. Looks like it's being diffused enough by the wind that it won't cause me any problems. Oops, better move away a little bit. would get a nice gust of wind right at that point. <coughs> That's two minutes. So it's about 2 minutes 15 seconds. Disconnect it. Looks like there's no smoking action going on. A little some residue in there. Okay, I have a good sense of the timing on this now. It's under... It's 2 minutes and 20 seconds when I turned it off. I wonder if I should attempt to quickly do an application to the hive since I would think a lot of bees are inside right now maybe not it's starting to rain again so I got that dry run in there just in time it's starting to rain out again and that's just an example of uh, one of the ways to help control varroa mite and that's with uh, the vaporizing of oxalic acid in this particular Vaporizer is by Oxivap. I bought this off of eBay. So this is New England Gardening and I hope to treat the hive maybe by the end of today or tomorrow. Start the first treatment. Um, there's also a sticky board that uh, slides into the bottom of the bottom board that I have, the screen bottom board. So you can, and, um, you can put in a, a sticky grid uh, sort of map that uh, when the mites fall you can count them once well, released. I did just get that in time, didn't I? So this is New England Gardening. Um, yeah, I'm going to start treating the mites, although I don't have a, a, an idea of the uh, severity, you know, of the mite infestation or if, uh, you know, if it's just um, even a problem at this stage, but I did read that around this time is when you have to start being uh, controlling the mites 
So this is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.